now that I'm feeling much better, back to 110% health, other than this cough that will eventually, you know, burn off and go away on its own. I'm feeling much better just in time for Turkey Day tomorrow. There's going to be a lot of introductory videos introducing myself to famous people I've been, I'm, I'm a fan of, or people who are connected to these you know, uh, p famous people I've been a fan of for a longer amount of years than these certain people I've been in their lives. And I couldn't pick to find time to better to like a perfect time to a perfect time or a perfect one to start off with by wishing a happy Jerry Nadu Joe Nemechek 25th birthday to Bradley Stephen Perry aka Kaz in live in la vida lab rats but this is just more than wishing him a happy birthday and you know, just saying you know um, show it proving that someone still cares about him and you know still remembers his birthday if I have not forgotten about it Brad I just I just regret not saying anything about it, but I've not forgotten since 2016, right after La Vida Lab Rats of the whole franchise ended. But I also wanted to introduce myself to Austin North, Mia Trelet. Mm, wait. <laughs> Mia Tellerico, yeah, I'm sorry if I almost bought your last name, I'm just meeting you for the first time, considering I saw your cooking video on Bradley's channel, and I didn't want to bot your last name, so this is going to be heavily edited, and of course, Bob Duncan himself, Eric Allen Kramer, I was not a good luck Charlie person, but I knew who you were, Eric, and best of all, I had never heard of Mia before until that cooking video that you guys did as a Good Luck Charlie reunion. And to Mia, Eric, and Austin, I absolutely loved Bradley and Jake on La Vida Lab Rats when they played Kaz and Oliver in Elite Force. When I used to write fan fiction about Lab Rats, combining the original series and the Elite Force version together as one a whole franchise of two different versions... I used to make every Lab Rats character swear, except I had kids that, you know, read those fanfics, so I had to make sure it was at least PG-13, aka TV-14, where every word in the book was allowed to be said. I just didn't allow, allow the granddaddies, like the F-bombs, to be said. But now that you guys are all grown up now, and the fact that Brad has his own YouTube channel can say whatever the fuck he wants, the gloves are off, and guess what? As someone who's had a potty melt since I was four, all courtesy of my dad, when it comes to my YouTube channel... The gloves are off with me. My t my channel, as far as my vocabulary goes, is rated R, R T V M A. Even when kids are in there, but they're at least they're like older kids who like you know have are used to hearing it, and they seem to not care. You know what I'm saying? But and I I swear when videos that I make for my favorite stars on Nickelodeon and Disney Channel, they don't seem to give a rat's ass either. So therefore, I just wanted to make this video to wish him Brad a happy. Jerry Nader, Joni Majuk, 25th birthday, her, him being my girlfriend's age, and introduce myself to Eric, Mia, and Austin. And also Austin, I happen to know Oana Gregory, too, who I also loved in Lab Rats, one of my ultimate favorite actresses. And I'm 29 years of age. I have autism. I live in Northeast Ohio. And I'm, yep, Austin, I'm a fellow Ohioan just like you. My family has called this, this place home for almost my entire life, even before me. I was born... And I'm also, besides being a NASCAR fan, like I mentioned in your on my comment in your Formula One post, I'm also best known for that. The San Antonio Spurs, the greatest pop forward of all time from Wake Forest, number 21, Timothy Theodore Duncan. And of course, probably none of you know, I'm best known for Ricky Martin in the hit 1999 number one smash, well, 1999 number one smash hit, Live in La Vida Loca, written by Robbie Draco Rosa and Desmond Child. So nice to meet you, Eric, Mia, and Austin, and happy Nadu Nemechek 25th birthday to Bradley Stephen Perry, aka Kaz. Also, your lines are doing pretty good, Eric. I'm just going to leave it at that. I hope that they have a hell of a strong finish to the season and that they keep up be, you know, being this good for a long for quite some time. I'm not a football fan, but you guys deserve this after being so bad for many years because us in basketball, the Spurs, we were so good for 22 years in a row. And now since 2019-2020, with or without COVID in the bubble, we've been stuck in purgatory since the all the good players left and are retired. Needs earthworms when you got this squirmy little guy right here. <laughs>